haar in deze wedstrijd. Allereerst een hele jonge man. Hij is op dit moment de Lakeside wereldkampioen bij de jeugd. Tweevoudig Win My World Master bij de jeugd. En tweevoudig Find The Dance Master bij de jeugd. Hij maakt zijn debuut op het PDC podium. U bent erbij. Een hartelijk applaus. Justin van der Gaal. En dan de tegenstander van Justin, ik zei het al, een landgenoot. Deze man komt uit Vroomshoop, speelt in zijn 21ste Eurotour toernooi alweer. Hij was de Lakeside wereldkampioen van 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, de lipstick, Christian Kees! Much has been written, much has been said, and much has been speculated about Justin Van der Hout. Now it's time to take a really close look at him for the first time, in fact, on the European Tour. Coming through qualifying last night, the 17-year-old born in April of 2000, making his debut here in Maastricht in front of his home crowd, the BDO World Youth Champion, a two-time winner of the World Youth Masters. And Paul Nicholson, you can't underestimate, or understate, I should say, how successful a player he could be. He could do anything he wants. This is the start of what could be an incredible journey. I was privileged to be at Lakeside with Justin when he won his World Youth title back in January. It was expected that he would win. All the pressure was on that young man. He just doesn't look like he's phased by anything. And this is his destiny. Really looking forward to this. And it's a stiff test against the lipstick because Christian Kist, the enigma that is Christian Kist, who will he be up against? Because yeah, he's up and down. Yeah, you never know. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg is Christian to throw first. Game on. Which Christian Kist is going to turn up? Really intriguing encounter. This one, two host nation one qualifiers coming through last night. Very different routes in qualifying. Kist blew away Danny de Haas without losing a leg, but then was given a rougher Christian. ride against. Yeli Stifter and Jordi Meerwisse. But Van der Hout seeing off Vincent van der Voort by six what legs to two eight. in the final round. First 180 of the day from Christian Kist, or first 180 of the match, I should say, from Kist. We can tell that Justin van der Hout is not nervous playing darts as a 17-year-old against the big boys because he took out three very, very well-known Dutch players, people with pedigree, 100. people who've played the top level. Rick Hofstra has played against, against the likes of King at World Championships. Van der Veel has been around the block a few times and Van der Voort, we don't even have to mention that guy, he's done everything in, in Dutch darts. Yeah, you just look at some of the players he's taken on in exhibitions as well, you know. There's 69. immense YouTube footage out there of uh, Van der Hou in his younger days when he was 14 playing Michael Van Gerwen in an exhibition. He's not overawed, and he's not looking overawed here. Although Christian Kist is the man who gets the first leg on the board. Second leg is Justin to throw first. Game on. And one of the reasons why Justin will get better is because the standard of the youth game is very, very good. But as he steps into this snake pit, he's going to get tested more. And he is the kind of guy that will get better with that once he is constantly tested. Now. It makes me sick that he was born in 2000 because I have a polo shirt in my wardrobe older than that. 
96. In that footage as well that you see in 2014, 2015, you know, his eyebrows are level with the double three as well. You know, he's, he's a very diminutive teenager. 59. And he's grown up almost, or he's in stature, a lot more than many expected as well. 95. It just goes to show that his mathematics is pretty good as well because using the 19s route on 265, that's what the pros do. He knows that 519 leaves 170, Does and that's he what he's left. 170. Yeah. yeah, he was very small for his age at 14, but he's, um, like I say, 17 now. 92. Good throw as well, isn't it, Rob? Mm. It's good to watch. It's a little bit of a, a wobble in the wrist. But there's a bit of flex there, which means there's some power in that arm of his. I was just going to say as well, well, we'll talk about that in a moment, just see if uh, Van Sahel can take this out, this uh, 78. Well, there's the uh, treble 18 that leaves double 12. Double 6, just as was the case for Kist. 72. You suspect, you suspect he'll be uh, back for that, but... Yeah, he will. He's got double 3 left, which you mentioned earlier in the leg. A little bit taller 59. now, so let's see Christian how he's adjusted six. with it. Well, he split it instead. Two score. Maybe. Christian require 108. With uh, an inkling here. 419 is what have left double 16. 68. And now Justin's got to take Christian care of this double two. Four. We mentioned that Christian's a bit of an enigma. If he gets a lead, he won't look back. Double one, back to the top of the board. Yeah. That's a good shot. Leg. Tristan Van Der Haal. Third leg is Tristan to throw first. I was just going to question as well, just, you know, the, the rapid development he's had over the last three years as well. He's obviously had to undergo a lot of changes 96. to his throw, I assume, given that, you know, he was throwing almost uphill at the age of 14, and now he's on a, a more even keel. I mean, that must have an impact on your... 60. Not only your stance, but also your, your throwing arm and, and the way you pitch the darts as well i mean to Wait, do all that in, in such a short space of time is absolutely it's it's very very difficult I, I can't say from my own perspective because when i turned professional i was 29 i'd finished growing but it must be very very difficult for people like nico bloom and, and justin van der Hau. it's one of the reasons why i believe that one of the the best things you can do with a child if they want to play darts is that start with a dartboard on the stairs 59. and gradually as they get taller put it one further step up, it gets taller and further away, so it's a graduation. 60. Not much use if you live in a ground floor flat, though. Not at all. <laughs> but there are things you can buy these days where you can put it on the back of doors at different heights and stuff. But you get the feeling that Justin hasn't finished growing. There's something about the majority of Dutch star players who are the size of the Eiffel Tower. Half of the crew that work on the European Tour are all tall, all Dutch, putting something in the e that's for sure. Right now, if this doesn't go, which it's not, Van der Howe's got a very doable 96 to take the lead. Mm. And this is for a break of throw as well. Yeah, went for the uh, double 18 top route there. Went for the Jim Walker. But now, double 16 it is for Kist. It's not the lipstick. 16. And it's not the green Just bit either. 40. So, JVT. Got a chance of tops for a 2 1 lead. Yeah, and a first break of throw in this match. And there it is. The third leg. Justin Just Van der Haal. Leads by Both two like legs to one. What do we know about his support team as well? I think his mother's here this weekend. and. Yeah, I've, I've met Justin in January, like I said earlier on in the match, and I met his mum as well, who's exceptionally proud of him. Follows him everywhere at the minute. 83. I'm sure Justin's got a lot of friends as well within the darts world. He's, he's done a lot of travelling. I'm sure he's met a lot of people. I've looked at his social media feeds and... 95. He's gets on really well with a lot of the top guys in Dutch darts and beyond. Yeah. So I think that's really important for him feeling comfortable when he gets on this stage. 100. So he feels like he's at home. Well, he'll have plenty of support this weekend. He's from Utrecht, which is about a couple of hours away from where we are here in Maastricht in the south of Holland. 81. City, of course, that became famous in 1992, the birthplace of the European Union. Fairly apt that we're here. City of European integration, embodied by the PDC. 
City of the Treaty. 100. I think it's a good thing for Justin van der Hau as well that his first European event is actually 97. in the Netherlands. Oh, yeah. So. Well, he tried to qualify for the European Open in Leverkusen um, in June, or eight, end of June, July. Beat Jordi Mayo, we set, but lost to Jermaine Watamena in the second round of qualifying. But he's had some really good results on the development tour this year as well. Two semi-finals and a quarter in Germany. 58. And that Bissen 160. would have been a devastating setback for Christian Kist. Just about to say, it's not really happening for Christian yet. Splitting this. The right thing to do. Double 14. Yeah, he lovely. The fourth leg. Just he looks now. assured of himself. Christian Maybe he wasn't going from. for the 10, but the thing is he thought, you know what, if I'm a little bit nervy, I hit yeah. the 10. It's the right thing to do. 100. 10 or a 6, people. Don't underestimate the power of a 10 or a 6 to it's give a, you some comfort. It's a big block to aim for. And Van der Haup. That's a two-leg cushion here now. I've seen two 46. rip stompers of double 14 so far. That was one of them. The other one by Jim Walker earlier when he got his his 6-5 victory over Darren 100. Webster in one of the strangest 103 checkers you will ever see. Well, Van Zahau is averaging about 88 at the moment. 85. He did register an average of 97 in the 2015 Zydadown Youth Masters. A tournament he's won twice, one of the many youth tournaments 93. he's won. I think one of those matches was on TV as well. I think he averaged almost 90 in that. So, you know, he might only be 17, but he's used to the, the big stage. And, you know, that tournament gets big crowds as well. A lot's been said about doing your apprenticeship within darts, and he's done his in the youth game. And... He's got a lot of darts ahead of him now. I mentioned that this is the start of his journey, but potentially now what he's got in his future, pro tour, youth tour, European tour. Christian Kiss got double four in his future. 60. Well, Vanta Howe might just be in the mood to pounce all over this. Now, which way is he going to go here? Maybe the 18th? I'll be very surprised if he goes bullseye. 20s. There it is. Oh. Very sensible. Double five. 85. Fishing Knows he just underpitched that a bit and it just dived at the end, but double four for Kist. There it is. That's a lovely dart. And he knows that that's his catalyst to get back in this match. Well, he had the gumption to go for the double five there as well. I mean, even though he's 17, will a player like Van der Howe have preferred routes already, routes to finishing already, even even at this early age in his, or at this early stage of his career. I think he'll have a lot of good fundamentals. We mentioned earlier about being on 265 and knowing that the 19s route will give you a finish more often than not. 134. Well, there, he hit the triple 18. The counting in this part of Europe is flawless. From the Belgians, the Dutch guys, the Germans, the Austrians, they all know how to count well and even though we're looking at a very young man, we're looking at a good darts mathematician, and we're looking at a good 40. throw. He does have a, an unfortunate bounce out, but all the fundamentals are there to move forward and do something very similar to what Michael van Gerwen's done with his career. Mm. It's hard to really compare the guys at this stage, but Michael van Gerwen was 17 when he won the World Masters, so... Yeah. No pressure, Justin. I mean, that's it. The comparisons will always be there for him as well. By this stage of his career, or by this age, Michael Van Gerwen had done this. Uh, and that will always this be with him. Of course it will. 29. Anyway, 129 here for Van Terhal. Or Van Terhal. Well, he had 122 left after the first dart, and he was thinking 25 and treble 19 will leave tops. 47. Just goes to show where his brain's at. He knows mm. what he wants to do. Christian Kist wants to fill this up. To leave double two, perhaps? 136. Well, that'll do. Does well, require 80 this has got to go now, Rob. It has. Um, otherwise, it could be hard work for Kiss to get back into contention here. He's looking at tops again. 62. Christian, you require 48. 
Well, no Martin Ferro here from uh, Christian Kist either. Yeah, yeah right in the middle. Flag. Christian Kist. Christian Kist, a player. Like Christian to throw first. Who Him on. last year didn't go beyond the second round of any of these European Tour events. He hasn't gone beyond the second round this year either. Made the uh, second round in Hildesheim at the German Open in Gibraltar and also last time in Leverkusen as well. You feel he's better than that sometimes, Christian Kist? He's absolutely better than that. He's, he's a Lakeside champion, of course. 80. But a very, very dangerous player when he's on. He has had problems with injuries and ailments, and he, he constantly fights 40. that every day. And you've got to admire his courage and determination to constantly give it a go. Because a lesser person no, might walk away saying. and just say, you know what, I'm, I'm not up to this. But he keeps fighting. He believes in his talent. Yeah. And he's, all, he's still got it. Absolutely. And all these are important for Kiss. We'll just see if he can uh, take this out. One yes, he can. That's a timely injection from Christian Kiss. He's ranked just outside the top 32 at the moment as well. He's tied for 34th in the world rankings. One of the Look at that, though, from Van Ter Howe. Anything you can do, I can do better. Good leg, this. Very good. Oh, surely not. Double 18. 138. Just in your car, 140. What price would you get on a 144 from JVT now? Well, this would be a killer for Kist if this goes. A little puff of the cheeks there from Van Terhout. 100. Christian, you require 18. Not the easiest double on the board, double now, but no hesitation from Kist. Team shot on the seven forget about what I say. Christian he thinks Kist. it's really easy. Like That's a 4 3 first. lead. And not only back in the match. Game on. He's back in the lead. Yeah. Well, Kist was the 7-4 to four on favourite to win this match. I think uh, JVT might have had his backers at 5-4, to four, but Kist 16. in the ascendancy at the moment. Van der Howe didn't play badly, hasn't played badly in the last three legs, but he's lost all of them. 3-1 up, 4-3 down. 64. But the finishing a concern, 3 from 12 so far for Van der Howe. 45. Averaging in the low 90s at the moment. Both played not much in them in terms of the averages, in fact. It's important for Justin to know that everything he does over the course of the next couple 60. of years, he's just got to learn from everything he does, be it success or not so. So far from what I've seen, he's got a, a really good temperament, and that could be 60. his biggest asset. It really could be. Because there's a lot of kids who come through who've got real brashness and attitude He's not like that. He gets up there and he just wants to get on with the game. It's, yeah. he, he noticed on his walk and he just couldn't wait to get up the stairs and start playing. When he gets his darts in his hand, he just wants to throw them. 85. I have no doubt that he will turn into a personality because that's what happens to dart players <laughs> these days, but he's got the basis for everything he wants to do. And Christian Kist is a great role model because he's another one who just gets on with the game Mentioned he was three from 12 on the doubles. I know in the second leg he had those uh, missed starts at double two, didn't he? But even so, he, I think there's uh, room for improvement on his finishing. Here. He knows that, of course. But he's getting himself into positions. He's in the frame once again here on 118. I've always said that you learn the 89. most about people Just in regard, when you're in these kinds of positions, when you're in the squeaky end of matches, 18 for tops for 4 4. Oh, Game it's a beauty. Yeah. And what's Christian more, Benahan. that's just not a great shot. Christian Devoe first on the ninth leg. Game on. I just feel that he's adjusted slightly from different shots. There was, that was a little bit more airy. There wasn't a dip at the end. He's either thrown it harder or given it more air. One out of the net. Nothing wrong with that either from Christian yeah. Kist. No, flight fell out, but the uh, arrow stayed in, and it's uh, a 180 to start things off in uh, leg nine. We've had an abundance of matches go the distance already today. Ryan 100. Searle against Steve West. Webster against Walker. Ten legs in the match between Quantock and Schindler as well. This one could go all 60. the way too. Well, the crowd are gripped. 57. It's a home derby. And I'm sure the crowd are split as to who they want to win. Plenty more. Dutch talent coming up this weekend, nice including the return of MVG. Yeah, it's hard to call. I think I think just about the majority would 
like to see Van der Hau go on. Winner faces Kim Hybrex tomorrow, by the way. I think uh, whoever comes through Hybrex will be taking very this seriously. Indeed. Kim Hybrex could do with a good run sooner or later as well. He's another player who, on the European Tour, certainly has very much gone off the boil. And uh, needs a... Just, well, certainly a player capable of putting in a, a good weekend. This is his time of the year, though. He's an autumn well, player. It, yeah, he yeah, always we... plays well this time of year, so it's 96. ominous. Yeah. And it's not far from his home here. So it won't... he'll probably be sitting on his couch right now, waiting to see who's winning this one. 43. Yeah, we're almost sandwiched in between Belgium and Germany where we are here. It's right at the bottom of the uh, Netherlands, the province of Limburg. You're closer to Brussels than Amsterdam here. Good pressure. And good. And from Justin. Yeah, closer to the finish line here as well. That's a long way inside. Double five then for Kist. 35. Chance for Van der Hal. Didn't aim, 50. did he? He didn't prod the door like he usually does. He just let the arm flow through. And I think that was to his detriment. Now, all of a sudden, this game could be in the hands of the youngster. If he can take care of 10 and tops. Or that oh. and double 15. Well... A little nod of irony there from Van der Hout. Well, it might be 20 double five because he hit the double five before. He's going for the 15 straight away. Bold move. Game shot and his nice courage play. pays off. Justin Van der And a little wipe of the brow and a wry smile on the face Ten of like Paul Nicholson as well. And that just well tells you many things about the state of mind of Justin Van der Hout. Uber confident. And a sickening blow for Christian Kiss there. Well, you look at it two ways, can't you? One is, oops, I'm a bit nervy and I've hit double ten going for a single. Most importantly, he still had two darts at a double to take the leg and one of them hit. Mm. So, job done. 100. Nothing just, wrong with a few nerves, though. It just shows uh, that he wants it. it. I mean, the mindset of a 17-year-old. 100. Against, you know, maybe, the, maybe an older player in that situation. I don't know. Might just have been a bit more cautious. All right, Kist was lurking. What I like, though, is that Kist has actually looked at Tahao and said, you know what, I know you're a little bit nervy now. Can you get over the line? Because if you can't, I will. Well, that's not for the first time today. Van Tahao has illustrated that he's a very, very uh, courageous player and he's a very confident player as well. This is a, a very different examination. and he's, I think he's proving one or two points here that he's not just a... You know, a promising youth player. He's, he's got the mindset to go with it as well. Absolutely. What's really interesting as well is that they, these guys were practicing together upstairs. Mm. Whether that's a good or a bad thing, we're about to find out. But Van der Hau wants to really pressure that 66. He would love another 60. It's a good visit. Person, you require 66. So, kissed to stay in the match. Single 16. And a double top. The oh, tops is there. It's 5 5, and we're going all the way in this Dutch derby. Very, very fascinating game. Him on. Well, he's answered a few questions already, Van der Hau, but he's got another one here. How does his uh, metal hold up in the final leg? A little wink there to his corner. Still not showing any signs of panic, is he? 96. Well, when you've got a 30 year career ahead of you, what's the panic about? Well, this is it. This is the point I was just about to make. You know, there's not really a great deal of pressure on his shoulders here. I think there is a greater 100. deal of pressure on Christian Kist. He needs to prove something more than I think Van der Hau does. Absolutely know, to an extent right. Here. Absolutely right. The thing is, when you're in the position where there is 100. no pressure, just enjoy it. Because Van der Hau knows that, you know, there will be more occasions like this to come on bigger stages 100 if he keeps on doing the things he's been doing so well over the last three four five years ever sticking since a, he sticking a couple more tons and he might be in a, in a position to win the leg 96 kissed with the advantage of throwing first but he's not really made the most of it so far nine darts in he's only down to 209 59 but that will do him the world of good kissed now has a chance to kick on hit 59 from van der Howe. not what he needed at that particular juncture which from Kist. Ooh. Oh, oh, that leaves 160. Van der Hau, one or two trebles, the big trebles that is. He would love another one. Yes, another one, and there's a bit of personality from the young man. That was Van Gerwen S, wasn't it? The way he did that. Bit of Sulovic in there as well. 107 away. 100. 
Just in Ricard, 107. 90 left. Well, this time he went for the 18th. 37. Pistons require 60. 60 points away from victory. Double top. Game Double top it is. Animax. It's Chris the Chris. veteran who gets through on this occasion, but it's the first time we've seen Justin Van der Rau. It will not be the last, I assure you, but it will be a big sigh of relief from Christian Kiss, the former Lakeside champion who goes through to Saturday. He's going to play against Kim Hybrex, who can now get off the couch and get himself in the car over to Maastricht. Some good veteran words for the young man who we'll see again. Christian Kiss will have a word with Jacques Newlack in a few seconds' time. We will look forward to seeing you in the next match, which involves Nathan Aspinall and Ulf Sida. All right, Christian, first of all, question in English for our viewers in England and, and all over the world. How hard is it to play a youngster like that? Uh, it was very hard for me. Yeah, he, he's a young guy. He's a player for the future. Yeah, he's yeah unbelievable. Yeah, he's a great player. Yeah, it was hard for me. Yeah. Je komt op een moment 5-4 achter, denk ik. Oeh, nu wordt het lastig, Christian. Je brengt jezelf ook een beetje in de problemen, of niet? Ja, klopt. Ja, op een gegeven moment uh, voor mij kon ik 5-4 maken met, met ik drie pijlen op tops. Maakt hij vijf, vier. Ja, gelukkig uh, ja, gooi ik goed tiende lijk en een uh, goede elfde lijk. En uh, uiteindelijk win ik hem gelukkig. Voor een zweter, ja. Je zit bij de laatste 32. Dat heb je vaker gedaan. Nou zat ik even op een papiertje door te kijken. Ik denk, dat kan bijna niet waar zijn. Maar je hebt nog nooit de laatste 16 gehaald. Nee, klopt. Nee. Nou, dan ga ik dat weekend doen. Hè? Dat zijn mooie woorden. Daar gaan we maar meteen aan houden. Morgen speelt hij tegen Kim Huibrechts. Dames en heren, Christian Kist.